Hi and welcome to Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast. And in this screencast we are going to take a look at the UI Kit Dynamics framework which is introduced which was introduced in iOS 7. Uh, UI Kit Dynamics is a really interesting framework because it allows you to do physical type of events for or phys physical type of motions for your UI kit elements okay that means you can play with gravity elasticity density mass force impulse and all sort of fun stuff but of course uh, when you have these kind of powers you have to use it like really responsibility okay so let's get started we're going to make a very simple example we are going to make an alert box which is just going to fall on the ground and then we're going to make some adjustments that uh, so that it hits the barrier and stays in the middle of the screen okay so the first task is to create a barrier so I'm just going to copy some code uh, to create an alert view as well as a barrier so let's start with the alert view and go ahead and there we go it's a very simple piece of code uh, the alert view is basically a UI view with a light gray color background it does contain a UI label which contains let's say important okay or let's say hello world how about that and now I can go ahead and add that to my page to my view which is like this okay and of course it won't really be visible right now like let's say if I run the application uh, you'll see that's not there and if I click the info button nothing really happens okay so let's go ahead and do something in the info button so when I press the info button it should um, it should actually fall okay so let's go ahead I've already hooked up the info button which is over here but it doesn't really do anything now one of the things is the UI dynamic animator okay and UI dynamic animator is basically responsible for all the dynamic events that happen on the screen so I'm just going to initialize it with the reference view and the reference point is our current view all right now let's play around with gravity gravity of course we all know gravity is a behavior that is going to pull uh, the the elements toward itself if of course the gravity is low then it will be just like in space it's not really pulling you and uh, with zero gravity with no gravity at all you'll be just floating there forever right uh, so what we do what we do want to do over here what we, what we want to do over here is to um, apply the gravity on the alert view and here we go and let's go ahead and change the gravity a little bit the gravity direction um, CG vector make so in the x-axis there is no gravity and in the y-axis we're going to say 0 0.3 which means that the box or the alert view is actually going to fall a little bit slowly okay um, that's pretty much it let's go ahead and add the behavior of the gravity so here we go we add that and let's go ahead and run this application now so I click the info button and here we go and it just went by you can see that it uh, the box just dropped the alert view just dropped and it simply uh, keep on dropping keep on falling and it bypasses our screen and let me do it again here we go and you might see a little bit of lag uh, that's because of the screen recording software that is running that is not because of the code or anything related to the UI uh, kit dynamics okay so let's make the box stop at the end right for that we have to create another behavior which is called a collision behavior and as the name uh, pretty much gives it away a collision behavior is a collision between the boundaries 
and or or it can also be between different views between different objects UI it's not collection it's collision behavior and then we're going to say init with array we're just going to pass the array over here in this case the uh, array or the elements that are going to take part will be alert view and of course in the end we have to say that uh, translates the reference boundary or translate the re reference bounds into the boundary so that becomes our view bound becomes our boundary oops okay so something didn't really uh, something didn't really happen correctly I wonder what I am doing wrong something uh, oh of course so whenever you add these things you have to add it to the animator or the animator will not know about the additional behaviors so we're going to add that behavior the collision behavior and now if I press the info button you'll see that the box falls but it actually lands it or lands uh, right at the end on the edges of the view or, on the, or within the bounds of the view okay so we are one step closer to our solution right but we don't really want the box or the alert view to be at the like really at the end of the bounds we want it to be kind of like in the center so what we're going to do is we are going to create another view which will act as a barrier so I have some code for that let me actually go ahead and copy that so that we can save a little bit of time um, just for heaven's sakes we're just going to give five pixels or points over here and make the barrier uh, red color and finally let's add the barrier to the screen so that we can see that you can see the barrier let's go ahead and run the application so now we can see actually a barrier on the screen so this is a UI view it is a five pixel in height and it is of course red in color so if I do info right now if I click over there it just bypasses it okay um, one quick solution which you can think of is you can add a collision the objects that are going to take part in collision and you can add the barrier view over here okay and you'll be like okay I'm done I'm gonna sleep now let's go ahead and do that so we have a barrier now it is part of the collision and let's go ahead and click the button and oh what happened uh, the alert view actually took down the barrier with it right let me run it again and here we go and the barrier comes down with it so we don't really want to do that right we want to stop that from happening now you can so let's actually go ahead we are going to use something called add boundary with identifier which is part of the uh, collision API or the UI collision behavior but for that it needs the edge of the like how long the boundary will be in other words we are going to create an invisible uh, boundary which will uh, be the same height and the same uh, width and same height same length same place exactly the same as the uh, as a barrier okay and it will act as a boundary and that's pretty much what we're going to do so we added the right edge and the right edge is from the uh, you know from the origin of the barrier which is the X location plus the size the width okay and then the height of the barrier I mean not the height but the uh, wherever the X Y location of the barrier is okay and in the end what we are going to do is we are going to add the boundary using the collision methods and that is going to take care of everything so we do this we are simply saying that we are adding a identifier as barrier it doesn't really matter what name you give uh, from right edge to the point there so we are creating a boundary using this okay and when you, we are doing this we can simply say over here you don't really need that much of a height and you don't really need a background color for the barrier because now we have created an invisible boundary and here we go it stopped 
right at where we want it, right? Um, if we run it again, so you can see that it really stops where you do want it, and bam, it does stop, right? Now, just as a bonus, let's see if I can actually give you a little bit of bonus over here. Um, UI dynamic item behavior, UI dynamic item behavior, and this is pretty cool. Uh, this is item behavior, UI dynamic item behavior, and this is basically if you want to change the different properties, okay, of the alert view. So let's say alert view, and uh, we're just going to say item behavior dot elasticity, and we're going to say 2.0, and just add the dynamic behavior to animator so that the animator will know that what properties it needs to act on. Oh, oops. All right. So <laughs> that was kind of crazy, right? Um, what about if I say 6.0? And of course, you can change uh, the resistance, elasticity, the density, and so many different things you can change. I believe if I'm going up, so I have to say like 0 0.5 or something, for the elasticity to maybe a little bit of bouncy situation. Here we go, a little bit of bounce going on. Okay, um, and that's uh, that's basically pretty much it. Uh, and in the uh, future tutorials, I will cover more aspects of the UI kit dynamics uh, because this is a really huge framework. This is, a, I mean, a lot of things you can do, uh, but try to do the things that will actually make sense. I know people who you can get carried away with these things when you have this much of power to influence the user interface, people can go to certain lengths to completely destroy the user interface experience with adding all these physical aspects to it. Um, but uh, this this has to be a really subtle behavior when when you when you use a UI kit dynamic. So use it wisely, basically. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. I I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.